Chewy Martinez hanging out with the amazing India Love. I guess I'll clap. Thanks. Right. So sweet. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Very good. How do you get crosses and diamonds on your teeth? Like, what do what, what, okay? When I go to my dentist, like, what do I say? Well, you, they don't do that there. Oh, they don't. No. Where do you get that? Like sloss and swap meat? Where do you go? First of all, no, they don't have it there. No, they did. Um, there's this place on Sunset, I guess. There. What? Mm -hmm. And, and what the you... same thing that put, they put on like braces. You know, they have the things that yeah, stick yeah, on yeah, teeth. Yeah, they yeah. put those on like that. But I want the real ones. Like Diddy has one where he like has an actual diamond in his tooth. Diddy has like I'm a five. Diddy has like a five carat stud like in his middle tooth. He's G. I love that. Damn. I need that. How would I look with one of those? Sickening. Would it be dope? Vicious. Gling gling. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Every time you smile, it's like, bam, mm -hmm. you got money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so India, what's going on, man? How does one, how does a young lady from Compton end up here with me with Chewy Martinez and working with Hawaiian? Um, I would say God is the reason first. Yes. yes. Thank, Thank you, you God. Yes. Thank you, God. Yes. Absolutely. For bringing India love into our lives. Amen. <laughs> um, but now I'm in this like, uh, artist development stage okay. where I'm, you know, developing developing myself into being an artist. All right. Mm -hmm. And what would you say your style is? Because I've seen some videos. Uh -huh. I, I like what I see. Thank you. It's a good time. <laughs> what would you, what would you, how would you describe your style? What you hope to become as an artist? Um, I would say I'm creating my own lane right now. Okay. My own sound, my own wave. I feel like uh, my music gives you some type of vibey sounds and music but honestly I'm in an experimental phase right now right. so I really don't know what my real sound is or what it's going to be I'm kind of just trying all different types of stuff to see what really sticks that's exciting yeah it is could we, you, well, can we expect you like playing a banjo or you know playing the spoons violin I, don't know I like violins I want to do this one what is this the harp the, that's the the one that's really big I know what this is but that's that's not an instrument but oh what my would you, god Okay. What, what would that be? It's the be? big one. It's like oh, it's big, the fancy. the thing. Um, what is it? You can your phone's behind. You can Google it. Yeah, it's fine. What's it called, y'all? The the the, the harp. The harp. Is it a harp? Is it a harp? It's a harp. Yeah, I was right. Yeah. <laughs> you should be on Jeopardy. Yeah. Oh, uh, I want to do Family Feud. Me too. Just to have that. Yeah. We should go against each other. Why we My family. Why can't we? Go, why can't we be on the same family? Um, all right, that works. I could be like your Mexican Dominican cousin Shane. Right, I'm Spanish, so that works. Yeah, are you? Yeah. Where are you from? Where's your country? From Spain, like Spanish. Like Spain? Mm -hmm. What part of Spain? Um, mm -hmm. Okay, Compton. Compton, Spain. Compton, Spain. Compton, <laughs> Compton Spain. There you have it. That's where her family's from. <laughs> and how did you get you starting music? Um, well, I am. He yeah. basically did. I started off being his brand ambassador for his Apple headphones. Okay. And he sat me down and had a meeting with me and was just like, I see more in you that you probably see in yourself. Yo. Would you mind if I try to bring that out and try to, you know, bring it to the light? And I was just like really nervous about it. And I was like, yeah, I'll try it. Who would say no to Will being, you know? So I was just like, of course. And he put me in the booth that night, Yo. 10, 15 minutes later, and we made my first single logo. No pressure. No pressure. Did you have time at all to go to your car and nope. scream? No. Nope. None of mm -mm. that. I actually went to the bathroom and was like, I really have to go back in the booth right now? Like, I've never yeah. been in the booth. So I've never recorded anything. So that was like a crazy moment for me. That was a pinch yourself. Reality moment. check. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. And who was that first person you either text or call? Or uh, it was my sister, Brooke. She's really into music. So nice. I think that it was going to shock her. Like, was she mad? She, she, cause no, she, she's she excited. Like, Why is she? Yeah, because she knows I'm kind of like, I would say on the more shy side, I would describe Are you? As. Yeah. Especially with talking and like opening up, I have like a huge type of guard wall ish going on. You seem fine talking to me. Yeah. I'm a little nervous. But I'm Are you? <laughs> Don't be. <laughs> Stop. Don't be nervous. Not nah, fine. You know, I'm just a tall, like, cute, bearded Latin man. I'm not intimidating at all. A little bear vibes. So you said it. Anyway, I didn't say. It. <laughs> I, I, say, I, I say. All right. So how many how many tattoos do you have? I can't count. You I can't. You have to tell me counting. because I saw you. I saw you without your shirt earlier. I was like, whoa. And she, I was like trying to count your tattoos and I couldn't count them. I stopped counting. I like twenty. I have a lot. There, a lot of them are words. 
I'm okay. gonna go deep like in that person in my mind, but okay. some are pieces and stuff. I usually get tattoos when I'm going through things. So if there was oh. any situation where I felt sad inside or I was hurt and couldn't feel it on the outside, I would've got a tattoo. You felt it. I felt it. I don't have any tattoos. Really? Yeah, my grandma and my mom would kick my ass. My mom said the same thing, but my other sister started it, so I feel like they okay. paved the way for me to be okay with it. Oh. <laughs> they they yeah, paved the way. My mom was like, okay, when it came to me, because really? they all got in trouble before me. What should I get, India? You know, I'm not going through any pain right now. <laughs> you don't have to. I'm, I can see you with like a half sleep. Like, like a half sleep? What yeah, should I get, right though? Here. My dog just passed away. Maybe I should get oh, I got dog. my dog's name on my ear. Her name what, what, was Bronx. Bronx? Mm -hmm. Mine was Bosley. So maybe I should get like Bosley and Old or English. Or you can get the actual dog. The face? Yeah. I was thinking about getting that or getting my whole last name on my back in Old English mm. or my stomach. That's mm. like Cali. I'm That's from LA. Super <laughs> you know? Yeah. My whole old address. Mm -hmm. Like, right? I live in Century City now. So I'm not going to get like, you know, mm -hmm. South Robertson. <laughs> but yeah, I, mean, I think I can get like Darwin, 21st Avenue in Darwin. Yeah. That'd be kind of gangster. Um, we can choose a different location for it, but you know. So tell me if you're not feeling it. I mean, you can right. go down here, with the, you know, where you're from. Okay. We can go here, you put an angel or okay. something cool. What does the art mean on your neck? Um, I feel like I am art. So that my body's cool. art, me just. A full description is art. That was a stupid question. I thought it was like an ex-boyfriend <laughs> or something. Like no. Not, no arts? Me. No arts in your life? Mm -mm. Okay. I should name my son that. That would be a cool name. Art? Art. Art love. Art. Ooh. Hey. Art love. That's nice. That works. That rings a bell. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it does. So, 2018. Mm -hmm. It's almost a wrap. We've got a couple months left. Yes. What would you like for 2018 to look for India love? Ooh. It's a great question, man. It's an amazing question. Nobody's asked me that. <laughs> so now so are you like, being a smart ass or are you no. being real? <laughs> <laughs> I'm being for real. Okay, good. Okay, 2019 for India yeah. Love. Yeah. I envision a lot of fashion. Okay. I envision a lot of magazine spreads and I just a huge exposure uh, year for me. Okay. I feel like I have been you know, at a point in my career where I felt like I was overexposed with like Instagram stuff. I was just putting out way too many pictures and just things of that sort. Now I want it all to make sense on a business level. Okay. So I'm not going to just throw out content. I want it all to tie in together to my music and just my artistry in general. Love it. So yeah, my developing artistness is going to go from there. 2019, I should have maybe an EP out. All right. And um, I'm working closely with Will on his Masters of the Sun thing with um, Marvel Comics. So he's going to do a spinoff with my own comic book type thing. Okay. So I have my, my hands in a lot of different right now. Look at you, man. Yeah. If I had told you maybe a year ago that all this would be happening right now, what would you tell me? I wouldn't. I'd probably just look at you crazy. You'd be like, Chewie, you're fucking nuts. Exactly. <laughs> Something like yeah. that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I would be confused. But, you know, God has a way of making things work in his plan, so I'm just trying to do things his way, I guess. A lot of exciting things happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I don't follow you on Instagram. I think I, I, I guess I should. I, uh, I guess I should. Um, what's what's the what's the perf? Give me some rules for like the perfect selfie, okay, or the perfect like perfect like bathroom selfie. So if I so I can make my butt look good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Give me some pointers. All right. Well, let's just start with the selfies first. Then okay, we'll go, to the we'll go to the butt. All right. So, <laughs> I would say find good lighting. So I'll go in front of a window. Any okay. window, find a window. Right. Hold your phone up to your best angle, whatever you think looks best. So you have to look at it in your own phone. Okay. So angles are very important. The lighting is very important. Um, confidence in yourself shows in pictures. So okay. if you don't really feel like you're feeling the pic, it's going to turn out looking like that. So you got to have a good mindset, positive mind, you know, just, you know, go for it. Be confident. Feel it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the butt selfie is all about the arch. You gotta arch your back in. Like that. Yeah. I have a bad I back, but yeah. I have, I'm like, it's like I played football, so. You see how my back is really arch right now. I see that. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. That was great. Uh, so yeah, I'm sorry. Like totally lost. It's cool. Total it concentration. Who would you say is are some of your fashion icons? Fashion? Oh my god. Yeah, man. Rihanna's doing her thing in the fashion world. And she's amazing. 
I that's mean, my like, girl, Riri. I love you. Yeah, tell her I said I love her too. Oh, uh, okay. Um, so Rihanna. Mm -hmm. Who Rihanna. Else? Um, <laughs> if you could do something with her, what would it be? Everything. Yeah. I love her music, but yeah. she has like she's took over every aspect: beauty, music, freaking lingerie. She does everything now. I'm very much inspired by her. She's a beast. She is. I want to meet her and like tell her. I could see you guys working together. I can see us doing a lot of things together. Yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow, see, see, I'm not the one making it dirty. She's Hot making here. it. You hear I, that fucking laugh? I, the fucking laugh is evil. <laughs> It is hot in here. It's getting hot in here. Why is it getting hot in here, man? Right. Right. And the little birdie told me, actually, you were the little birdie that told me, oh. you don't like seafood. Yeah, I don't like seafood. What's up with that, man? I tried seafood, like, years ago, and I feel like I can taste the ocean. That's the point. It's not the point I want. I don't want to feel like I'm tasting fish that is, like, the texture... It's like nasty. I like fruit, so I don't get why the texture of fruit doesn't turn me off to fruit like seafood does. And the well, smell seafood. is fishy. It just, even the cooked stuff still smells like fish. And it's just, it's but all that, a psychological thing in my head. But it's from the ocean. Yeah. But I can't physically see the chicken when I'm eating chicken. If I'm eating a fish, they give you the whole fish with the eyeballs there and everything right. staring at you. So right. it's intimidating. Right. Yeah. So if like if they brought you a whole chicken with the feathers and everything, that would like fuck you up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I probably wouldn't eat that anymore. Probably wouldn't eat the little mm -hmm. baby chickens. Please don't. Yeah. Mm -mm. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. So <laughs> any music out now? Where can we catch your videos? I saw your video on World Star. Yes. That was Trouble. my that was that was my introduction to you. Yes. That was an awesome video. Thank you. You were rolling around in the bed. Shout out to Sade. Yeah. You know, the, the the bed shots were great. Thanks. Um. Yeah, it was a beautiful thing. I appreciate it. And what else can we expect from you, man? Um, every month I'm going to start putting out song and visual. Okay. Very consistently. Beautiful. And um, I have a song coming out called Talk Your Shit. It's going to come out in September with the visual, of course. Right. I want people to just know that I'm more of like a visual artist. And, and music is only one form of art to me that I, you know have to offer right. and I'm just you know uh, I like to unpeel different layers of myself I'm only 22 years old so I don't even really have a clear understanding of what I want out of life yet so I'm just experimenting you know doing things that I feel like it's in a more positive whatever for the youth oh sorry my phone uh -huh. yep mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome thanks so what what makes uh you know, if you talk your shit, what makes that good? Or what, how can I talk some shit better than anybody else? What do you mean by that question? Like, talk your shit. Like, what makes you good at that? Or what do you mean by that? What's the meaning um, of that? I would say talk your shit, the definition for me would be say what's true to you without mm -hmm. holding back of any boundaries, restrictions. Um, you know, stay true to your word and whatever you feel, I feel like uh, self-expression is very important right. um yeah just don't hold back say what you got to say be confident be bold about any and everything you say all right mm -hmm. and if we want to follow you india where do we go uh if you want to follow me you go to instagram india love of course i'm probably the first page that pops up when you yeah. press an i in all right and um or it might be my page no and then snapchat <laughs> i barely use it but if you want to follow me on there it's love india w okay and twitter it's india love inc what do you post on snapchat usually now since snapchat kind of died out kind you know, of fell I really off. really yeah. love their filters i will always use them for the filters yeah so i just save them and then i put it on my insta story you do that too no oh. but what would be a great filter for me to use <laughs> on snapchat yeah they got a lot of them got i'm not fun. gonna put the dog ears or the uh -uh. bunny face no, none of that new shit ones all the time. which one it's new ones all the time they have fire they have little hearts Butterflies. See, I can't. I'm not, oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. You show me. Yeah. All right. We'll do one of those filters with the back arch in the hallway. Yeah. Okay. See where you're going there. Thank you, buddy. India Love, Chewy Martinez.